All right, y'all, it's time to get weird. What's up? Cheap beer for you to drink. My name is JJ. I'm a big fan of Schlitz the Bull Blue Bull. Um, they don't sell Schlitz in my part of Ohio. I don't think they sell it in Ohio at all. So I've never had Schlitz regular beer. But I hear really good things about it. So there is a beer I saw around me fairly commonly. I mean, you got to kind of look for it, but it's around. Schlitz the Bull. I had seen it before, and just the packaging, I'm like, come on, there's no way this stuff is good. It looks too cool to be good. But then I started hearing how good uh, just regular Schlitz was. I'm like, I've got to try the Blue Bull. It can't be that good, but people say it's good. I love it. <laughs> Schlitz the Bull is awesome. 5.9% alcohol. It is um, one of the best malt liquors you can get. And I knew this existed, <laughs> but I had never seen this one. And then uh, I was at a gas station, not in my neck of the woods at all, uh, because Ice House had it on their website, on their tracker, as a place that sold Ice House in bottles. I heard that's a good way to drink Ice House. Ice House, you know, it still tastes like crappy old Ice House, which I shouldn't say it's that crappy. It's just a very mid uh, 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 ice beer. Lo and behold, you guys may have seen this photo in my uh, the post I made here on YouTube that this was in the cooler as well as some Colt 45 high gravity that I'm going to review soon too. So, very cool. I've never seen this before. They had it. Multiple bottles in 40, 40 ounce containers. Now the issue <laughs> and the weird part is that I don't think they, they make this anymore. I don't think it's ever been sold in my area. And if it has been, I have seen it nowhere. The fact that this place had it blew me away. I stopped what I was doing and, and picked it up. Um, I, I don't think they make this anymore because I, I don't hear about it much anymore. I don't see it. And maybe you can make this out. If not, let me scoot it a little bit closer to the camera. And you can see that this is Best Buy December of 2022. Now, I've drank some expired beers on the channel by maybe about a month or two at the max. I haven't done something that is almost two years old, so this is going to be kind of an experiment. Um, the intro has been long. Uh, people get on me about long intros, but I had to give you some backstory here of how I came across a 40 ounce bottle of Schlitz the Bull Red Bull because uh, that's never happened before. And of course it would be expired, but we're going to try it anyway. Uh, if I hate it, if it is absolutely disgusting, I can almost guarantee you it's because of its age. Schlitz Blue Bull is so good. Now, my understanding is that Red Bull is like a, a longer brewed version. I, I see it referred to as XL, like extra long. I think that's just the same blue malt liquor, except they brew it a little longer. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that seems to be my understanding of Red Bull. So it should be fairly similar to Blue Bull. So it should be a pretty good malt liquor. So we're gonna try it out here. This is so exciting for me. I get to try Schlitz Red Bull. I didn't think I'd get to try this. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do. If it's not good, I'm gonna be so disappointed. I mean, it's two years old. It, it can't still be good, right? I've never had beer this old. And it was kept in the fridge with those like big bright lights. Mind you, this is in one of those tinted brown bottles. So hopefully it kept all that you know, UV and stuff out so it didn't age it too well. But I, I'm really hoping this this held uh, this held up over all that time. Schlitz Red Bull, it's expired, but we're gonna try it anyway and uh, see how it compares to Blue Bull. It smells fine. It's just, it's just Blue Bull with a little more flavor. Oh, whoa, hang on here. Oh, 
almost like um yeah almost like a like a smokiness like a dark flavor there not burnt but there's <laughs> it's it's similar enough to blue bowl where if i if i don't see this again i'm probably not going to miss it knowing that blue bowl is still around um if they get rid of that i'm gonna miss that a lot but i don't have much you know nostalgia for this because i had never had it before this tastes pretty similar to the blue bowl but there's some extra flavor here there is this is a more complex brew so i could see i could see that someone would prefer this because it's there's a lot more flavor going on at the tail end. Initially, it tastes pretty much the same as the blue one, but there's like this dark, almost coffee-like, like a black coffee. Ooh, it's interesting. This like smoky, dark flavor there at the end. Um, it's good. I, two year. <laughs> this this kept. Uh, for all that time, uh, the f this is, it tastes like a fresh beer. You know, buying 40 ounces in glass bottles and pouring them into a glass, and call me crazy, I think that is, I mean, people prefer beer out of bottles. I think I prefer beer out of 40s. Now, most beers you find in 40s aren't the best, uh, the creme de la creme, but um, but this beer and the last the last one I did out of a 40 ounce, if you pour it into a bottle, that f if you pour it into a glass, that first glass, it almost tastes like draft. I don't know. It, it's just, it tastes really good. It tastes really fresh for a beer that's very old. I don't know. Um, I think I think I like the Blue Bowl more. I think that one's a bit easier to drink. Um, I like how smooth that one is. This one, it's just, a, like I said, a little more complex. Not a, a bad way at all. But um, I think the Blue Bowl is just a little easier to drink. Um, a little more pleasant. But um, if you're looking for a beer similar to that, that has just a bit more character, a bit more flavor to it. Uh, it would be the Red Bull. It says the Stroh Brewing Company, malt liquor. What else is on this packaging? Just cool packaging. 5.9% alcohol. Contains 40 fluid ounces. The Union made, what else does it say on here? That's about it. One quart, eight fluid ounces. Yeah. So I don't know. Um, I would love to, if Schlitz is common in your area, I would love to know if you still see this. Because my understanding, this is discontinued. Now, please correct me if I'm wrong in those comments. And um, again, it, I had never seen it before. And I saw it at this gas station and got so excited. Got so excited. This is a lot better than that 12-pack of Ice House I bought that same day. Um, I'm glad I ventured out to find that and found this uh, in addition to that. So it's cheap beer for you to drink. Um, I'm gonna save, this is gonna sit in my fridge for even uh, about a week. And this is, I'm gonna pour me a little glass of this, probably just this much, just sip on it, just enjoy it, because this is the uh, only bottle I have of it. Um, I gave my sister Molly, who was just here earlier filming a video, I gave her a bottle that she could bring to Tony because he enjoys the Blue Bowl, and I think he's going to enjoy this one as well. Cheap beer for you to drink. This was fun. Uh, beer this old still holds up. I, I wonder how far you can push those limits to beer in a bottle. How long? Uh, five years? Would it still taste this good? Ten years later? There's no way. 20 years later? How long can you keep beer around and it still tastes good? All right, this has gone on too long. Schlitz the Bull. Hey, stop by hopwater.com. Use my code for you to drink. Save 20% if you want to try some of their great flavors like those you see up there. Hopwater.com. Zero calories, zero carbs, zero sugar. It's tasty stuff. Use my code for you to drink. It's cheap beer for you to drink. Thanks for watching.